Corey LaJoy, driver of the number 83 dustless blasting Toyota for BK Racing, uh, a, member, a former member of the NASCAR Next program who will now be racing in the 59th annual Daytona 500. Corey, what's it like for you that to hear those words and to be able to say that you're going to be racing in the Great American Race? Check, check. I had my answer all geared up and then I had a dead mic. Uh, it's pretty damn cool. Uh, I mean, I, obviously, wreck and read, it wasn't how I drew it up. Uh, and, and it certainly wasn't on purpose, but I was just trying to fill a hole and, and, and he didn't think I should be there. Um, and, and essentially, back to the, the practice question he asked Jamie, that was my first ever practice on a speedway in a cup car ever. So uh, I, I was learning every lap, uh, and, and and I was doing the best I could uh, up up to the up to the end when they started getting dicey, and I knew I was locked in. I just kind of I kind of rode and made made sure those guys didn't wad us up. But um, I, I'm sure the Daytona 500 is going to be another practice session for me. It's all it's all new to me. I didn't even know where to go to, for the drivers meeting or you know or nothing. So. I, I'm learning that this just like just like some of the first time I've been I've been around here since I was a, a rug rat, but uh, you know, it's uh, it's it's pretty cool being here as a cup drivers making my first uh, Daytona 500. It's pretty cool. Yeah, we'll open the floor for questions. If you have questions for Corey, please raise your hand. We'll get a wireless mic to you. Do we have any questions from the press box? Or we'll go here to Bob. Corey, obviously Reed was somewhat upset. Uh, I did would, too. Yeah. Uh, d does there, I mean, when you're battling, when you know that he's in front of you, how nervous, is it any more nerve wracking because you know if you have contact, it's going to, it's not going to be the way you want to do it? Um, I don't really have an answer to that question. Uh, I just, I just had to beat him. Uh, and I, I didn't want to be sipping margaritas on the beach on Sunday. I wanted to be out there racing. So uh, if that was my mom, I'd probably spin her out to, win, to make the Daytona 500 too. That's, I mean, that's just Frank. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm not going to be on Reed's Christmas card list this year, but that's all right. Go next to Al. Yeah, Corey, Al Pearson, Auto Week. At some point during the race, you knew Reed was no longer a factor to race his way in. You knew that Brendan Gaughan had the best speed among the other guys. Did you sort of think you had it kind of made after after Reed was done? Well, I mean, yeah, I I, I did technically. That's why I, that's why I didn't really get up there in the mix at the end of it, because uh, um, if I'd have tore my car up, that we definitely wouldn't have made the race. So I just kind of lagged back, and it it definitely eats at your competitive side watching everybody else dice it up. But I'll, I'll save that for Sunday. Go next to Jenna. Jenna Fryer, AP. Uh, I heard you briefly say on TV, and we lost the interview. How did this ride come about? You were in your dad's shop, and it just kind of fell in your uh, That That was a short script version for TV, but uh, there was a lot of politicking on my on my end and, and every, a lot of people's end. And, um, you know, Ron could have put – lots of guys in it, you know, Casey Mears or, you know, the list is long for guys he could have put in it. But uh, obviously he likes giving young drivers a shot with Matt and Ryan Truex and Alex Bowman and, and the list goes on. And, and um, so I was, I was politicking very hard. I obviously don't have a whole lot of stars in any division. I, I, I kind of been part-time in everything with limited Xfinity stars, limited truck starts and a couple, couple uh, cup starts. So, I mean, I know I can do it in the right opportunity. So I politic very hard. Uh, and, and I didn't feel like I was making a whole lot of headway with it. So I, I texted Jimmy Johnson and I said, Hey, I feel like if the seven time champ coming, you know, two weeks removed from a seven championship can make a text, uh, it, it could carry some weight. So he was like, Oh yeah, no problem. So he called him up, talked for about an hour. And like two days later, the call came to me. Hey, uh, this is the call you've been waiting for. Let's go. And, and it's still only part time. And, and BK's working hard to try to sell sponsorship to fill more races. But, uh, right now, all I, all I care about is Sunday. We'll go to your right here to Marty Smith. 
Congratulations, young man. Uh, some of us know about your struggle, man. You scrapped and clawed and tried and dug and begged, and now you've qualified for the Daytona 500. How do you encapsulate the ride? Uh, man, it, uh, there was times I wanted to stop, uh, but it just all worked out, you know. Uh, the big man's got a plan. Any additional questions for Corey? Well, Corey, congratulations on racing your way into the Daytona 500, and best of luck on Sunday.